Examine the journey for the dawn draws near. If you proceed, the actions you can you can take will be limited for a while. Any tales you wish to experience are best completed before the journey for the dawn, but the choice is yours. You can still save your progress after this point, but saving in a different slot is recommended. Begin the tale. Hmm, the fire won't catch. Well, let's give it another go, Agnia. Every failure brings us one step closer to success, eh? Right. We just have to keep trying. We've brought firewood, you two. Okay, so we're playing as these four. Thank you so much, Casty. Be careful. A fire's not worth getting wounded over. If it's flames you want, I can do it. <laughs> Not so fast, partner. How else are we gonna work up a sweat? If you insist on being so... inefficient. <laughs> right. Oh wait, we got the whole squad back. here. We didn't find any beasts lurking about. But we did find this water. Goodness, physical labor has never really agreed with me. <laughs> There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work, Timonos. Speaking of which, I wonder how the hunters are faring. <laughs> heave! Heave! Not a feast without a main course. A feast? This is enough meat for a butcher shop. <laughs> I didn't think hunting would be so much fun. <laughs> You've got the stuff that great hunters are made of, Throne. Ocheck would know. <laughs> oh, are you retiring from the cleaning business, Throne? Quiet detective. <laughs> because their side story, they were together. Well then, I believe that's most everything. All that remains is... Everyone's counting on us to light up their evening. It's time to get serious, Particio. <laughs> right you are, Agnia. Come on, Fire. You can do it. We'll show this pile of sticks who's boss. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> this will be a night to remember. I think you might be right. Now we feast. Oh, this is nice seeing all of them like this. This is nice. Truth be told, this isn't where I imagined my journey would take me. I know what you mean. As do I. <laughs> That's what makes journeys worth taking. You never know where you'll end up. It mm -hmm. Oh, what's wrong? Are you cold? <laughs> Doubtless someone in Koo is gossiping about you at this very moment. <laughs> Perhaps course. they miss me as much as I miss them. My friends back home. I've learned much in our travels, and I hope I can use it to help my friends and nation. I know you will, Hikari. And everyone's lives will be brighter for it. Thank you. Even after this journey ends... I'm 
going to keep on dancing around the world until I can dance no more. Mind if I tag along? With Particio and Rock backing us, we <laughs> can hop on the steam locomotive and bring smiles to every corner of the world. That sounds amazing. With one of those, you could save your feet for the important part, dancing. And I... I could extend a helping hand to places I've never even dreamt of. Will you keep on with Heirs Apothecaries, Casti? I want to resume my search for like-minded allies. Hopefully this time they don't think of anything like Purple Rain. Now that's a dream I can get behind. Yeah, me too. I'm afraid there's one problem with this plan of yours. If you consider how many people there are in this world, then... There's no room for logic in the realm of dreams, Professor. <laughs> do we know it? What'll you do, Oswald? I have some unfinished business to conclude. There are many answers that have yet to be found. Is that so? It's writ plain on your face. You're worried about your daughter. Cassie just calling him out. There's one answer found. <laughs> and what of you, Tamaros? Have you found yours? Almost. It's like a piece of meat stuck in between my teeth. Ugh, I know what you mean. I hate that. So, something's still troubling you, in other words? Are they going to talk about, like, the light and the shadow? Mm. Precisely. So, your days as a detective aren't over yet, then. Well, I'm here if you need an assistant. Assuming you can afford me, that is. <laughs> My goodness! You're awfully greedy for an assistant. Even if I said yes, I'm sure you have your own path in mind. I do. I want to go somewhere far away. To a place that isn't on any map. A place no one knows about. Lost Al? <laughs> a place none have laid eyes upon. You all have such big hopes and dreams. I just want to feast every day. And to keep the people of Totohaha safe, of course. Hmm, should I be aiming higher? Ah, seems like you've got some meat stuck in your teeth. Don't worry, Paul. Chad. That's a fine dream. <laughs> I suppose it is. Shooting star. He just crashes right on them. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. That looks like a statues of important people. And the flame went out. Oh, that flame's gonna go out too. It looks like two important people too. Seems like I might have to go in duos or pairs. And maybe relight the flames. That looks like the hunter and the apothecary maybe. This is where um, 
the beginning of Timidos' story took place. So it's real. Does that mean I get to fight that thing again, but this time with my people? they all have the same dream? Or did Cassie have it because I chose her as my main first? I had an odd dream. Nope, they all had it. Okay. There was a dark place. Somewhere completely unfamiliar. And a dark fire was blazing. I... I saw the same thing. Uh, wait, wait. Are you yanking my chain? I saw it too. What did y'all put in the food? <laughs> we all had the same dream. Could it be a coincidence? We're all fated. I very much doubt that. Hmm. I feel as if I've seen that place somewhere before. You have Timinos. That's where you. Oh, I slept <laughs> like a baby full of milk, though. Huh. Is it still not? I don't think so. Strange. Dawn should be upon us soon. Hmm. We should patrol the area. I can barely see a thing. <laughs> huh? Ooh, this Stars. is getting interesting. They're all gone. The sky is pitch black. Something is amiss. This is no natural nightfall. This is what we've been dealing with. Oh, Chet? Mm, I felt this. It's just like before. <gasps> On your guard, everyone! Something's coming, and it isn't friendly. It's here. What was that? <sighs> Casty and I have seen beasts like that before. Mm -hmm. At the time, we had no idea what they were. Their nature. I've seen them too. The black aura resembles the one true magic wielded by Harvey. He called it the Shadow. The Shadow? <sighs> Hikari should know. What is it? I cannot say for certain. Not now, in any case. Mysterious monsters. Just what we need. We know next to nothing of this phenomenon. Not even the extent of its reach. Does this shroud cover only this forest? Or is it much larger? Nothing for it but to check for ourselves. On that, I agree. Hmm. Well, we need to do something. <sighs> Unfortunately, we lack the information to know just what that something is. As an apothecary, I simply cannot leave this matter be. Somewhere, someone cries out for aid. And I must extend my hand to all those in need. Eternal night has dispensed or descended upon the world. The travelers decide to set out on a final journey to find the cause. Your destination will not be shown on the radar. Search for clues and find your heading. Up. Oh. Eight travelers. You can change your information at any time from the main menu. Walk astride your fellow tra travelers on an epic journey. Oh, okay, good. 
We've been waiting a while and the sun still ain't rising. What in the world's going on? I don't know, but it's nothing good, that's for sure. If those strange monsters earlier were a product of this darkness, then we must figure out the cause of this long night, and soon. I couldn't agree more. First, we search for clues. Now you're talking, so where do we start? Come on now, you must have some idea, right? Why don't we look for places like this one? What do you mean? I mean other areas shrouded in the shadow. There are more? I can't say for sure, but it's the only heading we have. A fair point. Standing still will get us nowhere. Let's start by searching for other places blanketed in darkness. Alright, looks like it's time to hit the dusty trail once again. It's quiet. Too quiet. But this smell... It's the scent of humans. They're frightened. Hiding. Someone's coming. Mint! Wet <laughs> breath mint. Is that you, Temenos? Out for a stroll in a place like this? You always did have the habit of sticking your nose in places it doesn't belong. Hmm. A friend of yours, Temenos? In a manner of speaking, but something's odd. It is odd. Failed to see what was in front of you. The shadow is ever by thy side. <laughs> Come on, Breath Mint. Just what are you? This is an inquisition. Refuse to answer and. Attempting to conquer others with threats of violence will always fail. Those who are subdued by strength cannot help but rebel. To conquer them, truly conquer them, you must subjugate their hearts and minds. Hearken to the shadows in their hearts. What are you talking about? People are desperate for a place to belong. Give it to them, and they cannot bear to live anywhere else. And then, their hearts and minds are yours. Their hearts and minds? Yes. <laughs> Humans are foolish by their very nature. Centuries pass, and yet they remain the same. Bold words for someone so young. <laughs> Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, Ooh. for the light shall fade, and soon night shall fall. Timnos has heard those the words. Teachings of the Moonshade Order. No, it can't be. Since you are so dogged in your search for the truth, allow me to help you. My true name is Arcanet, and I am the leader of the Moonshade Order, the same order that slaughtered the call. Ooh, see, Mel. Also, that I could steal the flame. I knew I had That's to call her impossible. Breath Mint for a reason. It was just an instinct. The massacre of the Call was decades ago, and the Moonshade Order's origins are older still. <sighs> it's not mm. impossible. There are old souls out there that hide behind youthful faces. Just like Father. The actual Thanks father. to Caldina's efforts, 
The Book of Night is now in my possession. Wow. <laughs> that girl was so eager to be a puppet. She didn't realize the strings were held by her sworn enemy. The Pontiff knew who you were. He was going to tell me, but his life was cut short. Ah. I had hoped you would be more stricken. How dull. Such has ever been your nature. Your face always a placid mask. But I suppose it matters not. This world's end draws nigh. That staff. Once, long ago, night was invited into the world. But a loathsome few drove it away. And we are the loathsome few. <laughs> Those events will not repeat themselves again. Say what you want, Breath Mint. You stole the futures of untold innocence. Did I? Then you <laughs> should thank me. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? This world is cruel. Monstrous. With not a single mote of joy to be found amongst the misery. Don't you see? Roy, Pontiff Yorg. Yes, and even Crick. Who? They knew. They knew the beauty of a dawn that would never come. Quiet. I won't allow you to sully their names with such blasphemy. You will answer for your sins, Arcanet. And I'll ensure the world they hoped for comes to pass. <laughs> All that, yeah, she doing? She really being that breath man for real. At last, Temenos's mask falls off. <laughs> I'm getting all fired up. What to do? Yeah, what do I do? Um, uh, Shanker. Nope. Okay. Oh, spears work. Nice. What to do? Axes work. Nice. Work. Holy light! Illuminate the dark. Does not work. Oh dear. Ready? Uh. Fire, maybe. Fire burns within you. I'm just getting warmed up. Take this. Well, They're just spitting on me. That's so rude. Yes. Well, to work. Holy light, illuminate the darkness. I'm just getting warmed up. Hm. I ain't one for holding back. What to do? Well, it's what gotta be to one do? physical thing. Okay. And soon not shuffle to work. Well. <laughs> this ends now, bit. Holy light, illuminate the darkness. What to do? Now, 
Um, Here you go. That helped. <laughs> Here I go. She just took my BP. Well, no, okay. To do. We'll do win and see if that works. Oh dear. Nope. Bring it on. My turn. Well, <laughs> uh, well. Hang in there. Whew. Very well. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Here goes. Well now. Hmm. No mercy, only pain. Axe of Lion. My turn. That's all. But I will hope back. Aver, Prince of Thieves! Oh dear. I won't back down. Oh, walking on. Uh. Be healed. You have healing hands. Might. Yeah. You know what? Let me see if there's any more. No, okay. Bring it on. Hot, eh? Not fire. Or wind. Or light. Oh dear. Where was I? Blaze on. Is that the spot? Yeehaw! My turn. Well now. My turn. Okay. That's thrown a for you. Yeehaw! Let's do it. Great thing. Got my shot. What to do? What to do? No mercy. Only pain. Mm. As a snake. Let's do this. Hang in there. I appreciate it, Throne. Ready? Playtime is over. Oh, well. No. Let's try dark. dark. Nope, no dark. I'm just getting warmed up. Shocking, huh? Nice. Where was I? Die. 
My turn. That's fine. That's fine, fine, and fine. This'll cool you up. There. Yeah. Alright, now I know what I can use. <laughs> Here I go. Ready? Yeah, yes, can be. No blankets. Where was I? Be healed. Thank you, Candy. Give her. What it's not in my do? nature, lady. Oh, yeah, I can't really do anything, huh? Will they get lightning and ice? Lightning crackles around you. Oh, no, it just switches. My turn. Okay. Just getting warmed up. Coming right Not up. Helped. Oh dear. Re repent. Hmm. Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Ready? <laughs> Lightning crackles around you. Where was I? Yeah. I don't even have her like a My turn. halfway yeah. there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's get to work. Dear. My turn. Ooh, she's slow. There. An open book. Yeah. <laughs> well, they fighting was. Here I go. To work. <laughs> really? My turn. Okay. So that's your weakness. That's thrown A for you. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I got something for the end. My turn. I'm sorry, but I won't hold back. Aver, Prince of Easy. My turn. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, you're done. Where was okay, I? Okay, okay. Be healed. Thanks. Here goes. Don't. Dreyfus, got my shot. Cleaning time. Playtime is over. Aver, Prince of Thieves. Here 
Here I go. This will make it all right. Where was I? Hmm. Hmm? This ends now, Midas. Now die. Oh, okay. good. May the sacred flame guide you, or something like that. And so we arrive at this moment. Will you lose? Are you truly so desperate to see the dawn? I see now that the pontiff was not the true threat. It was you. Mm hmm. Temenos. You, a dagger sharpened to a razor's edge. Claude's masterwork. <laughs> I can see it. The collar around that thin neck of yours. A collar? You will never be free. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I fall here, nothing will end. Mm -hmm. There, always near. Soon, night shall fall. Bye. You fell too. Farewell, Mint. Your days of meddling are over. Soon night shall fall. Ooh. From the looks of it, it already has. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if this isn't night, then... Let me save it in case some bombastic thing comes out. Tansy's journal. Did you write this? Audner asks, I immediately ripped the book out of his grasp and he shrank back a little, surprised at my shrink. I couldn't believe that he of all people had gotten his hands on my hidden script. Audner had been acting from a young age and was already quite doing quite well for himself. I too had long visitations since I was a child, but ended up working at my parents' candle shop instead. Even so, I hadn't been able to give up on my writing and it became a secret pastime. I hadn't shown my scripts to anyone though, afraid that their response would confirm just how talentless I was. I screwed my eyes shut in embarrassment preparing myself for his ridicule of my silly script, but would you mind if I perform this? He asked. I let out a strange gasp, completely caught off guard. It'd be a shame not to. Why don't we show it off to the at the next festival of grace? Though taken aback by the proposal, I was overjoyed to know that somebody appreciated my writing. I nodded in agreement and decided to make it a performance to remember. Despite it being Ogner's idea, I realized that I was even more excited than he was. I even began composing musical scores for the show. I love you, Mary. Those words caused my heart to race and my hands on the heart to stop. What's wrong? Ogner asked as he peered into my face with concern. I realized that he no longer looked like that brat who had tormented me with insects in her youth. Still, I knew that the words he spoke were not his own. I had been the one to write them, after all. Half a month before the Festival of Grace, his performance was all but perfect. I couldn't help but wonder when he found the time to practice after his normal work was through. I, on the other hand, was struggling to think of a fitting ending to his script and worked late into the night. Unable to ignore my struggles, Audner pulled me away from the desk and whisked me away into town late at night. The gods are all ours right now, he told me as we snuck into an empty church. Not long after, I was struck by inspiration. Perhaps by the grace of the sacred flame, Audner watched quietly as word upon, or word upon word, flowed from the tip of my pen. By the time I was finished, dawn was breaking, and as Audner read my script, his face was more serious than ever. My heart pounded in my chest, though not out of nervousness. Once he finished, he smiled softly. "Will you marry me?" he asked, and I let out another strange gasp. Had I written that line? No. This time, those words were Audner's own. His proposals always had a way of bringing me unrivaled joy. My heart warmed at the sight of his smile and the thought of performing the script we had written together. How I wish that happiness would last us a lifetime. 
Alas, I watched as the clerics carried his casket and sobs filled the air around me. I laid him to rest with our script and his beloved yellow flowers. No, I thought to myself, this wasn't the ending I had been envisioned. The day after this, finishing the script, I woke up to find my love cold beside me. According to the apothecary, Audner's heart had failed him. I wondered if work was blame. Why hadn't I noticed? I killed him. I pushed him too hard. It was my fault. All my fault. Unable to bear the guilt, I pushed his death from my mind and carried on as usual. But whenever I remembered my beloved, I clenched my jaw so hard I thought my teeth would break. One day I found myself in front of the church, the same place Audner and I swore our love to each other, and a single cleric came to speak with me. Sadness is something that builds up inside us. Holding it all in will do nothing but destroy you, she told me. Please let it out. You don't need to endure it any longer. Moved by her warmth, I spoke of everything that I buried deep inside of me. She listened to every word and, at the end, embraced me gently. All of the guilt and sadness were washed away by her kindness. Then one day, my feelings for Audrey disappeared, and all that was left was her. One day I saw her with another woman and feared that she would leave me. Knowing I had secured my place in her world, I told her I would do whatever she asked of me. She smiled gently in response and said, I want you to find the blue flames, wherever they may be in this world. I left on my journey soon thereafter. My parents cried and tried to stop me, but I pushed them away. Unfortunately, I barely knew the area outside of my own home, let alone the whole world. Not long after, I met with a traveling troop. They claimed to bring, be bringing smiles to every corner of the world, so I joined them, and the search began. That's how I found it, the blue flame she was looking for. It was on an owl at the edge of the world. I could only imagine how pleased she would be. I was sure she would let me stay at her side. Oh, how I adore Sister Mint. I love you, Tansy, she said. Her warm voice and words reverberated my head. She then handed me an old tomb called the Book of Night and recommended that I read it. So I did right then and there. It was a story of a people who did not long to see the dawn. I never read such an incredible tale before. As I looked up from his pages, she smiled at me. I realized there was no greater happiness than to be had than reading a wonderful book and seeing Sister Mint smile. In my mind, no brighter dawn awaited. Yes, I have no need for the dawn. It can all end here now. Oh. The sacred flame has been doused. Perhaps it could be rekindled with something? A statue of Alfred, the flame bringer. There are words carved into the base. O oh, inheritors of our will, let the mirror shine and kindle a fire in your heart to chase away the darkness. A statue of Aver, Prince of Thieves. There are words carved into this. And, uh, let the mirror shine and kindle a heart in, or fire in your heart to chase away the darkness. Do I need to be just... Let me part ways with this person, yeah. Let me just be... Hmm, I can't sit people out. Well, I got a mirror, right? Inventory, yeah. Yeah. The mirror reflects the memory of the sacred flame. Oh, okay. Ah. Wake up, Tansy. Night has come. Wake up, Tansy. Night has come. Okay, so Tansy from the traveling troop was all about the goddess, goddess. What's she talking about? Mint. Sister Mint? Oh, I fell asleep without realizing it. <laughs> Do not worry. You must have been quite tired. You traveled far to see my wish granted. Sister Mint? I mean, Goddess? Yep. I would do anything if it brought me closer to you. <laughs> Your devotion is moving. That's called delusion. You have actually. gone far beyond my every expectation. And must be rewarded. Is it sacrifice? Rewarded? Me? I love you, Tansy. Mm-mm. Huh? It's so dark. Where, where am I? What? My body? 
Hmm? Ooh. Well? Pathetic child. Oblivious until the very end. Well, Tansy just died. Okay. But this is what you wanted, is it not? It's not as if you desired to see the dawn. <laughs> the sacred flames have been snuffed out. Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk. For the light shall fade. And soon the world shall know the joy of a dawn that never comes. All who stand in my way shall be cast aside. I shall root out the travelers and bury that wretched mirror beneath the earth. That Look it may mirror, never girl. enkindle the flames again. First sacred flame burns anew. So this is the night? Could this darkness she spoke of be Vide? Vide. Legends portray him as a god of fear and destruction, which means that the dawn must be. I spoke with the children of this village not long ago. It seems there's going to be a concert tomorrow. Dolcinea is coming to entertain everyone with her dancing. Those children were waiting for the dawn with stars in their eyes. It was a beautiful sight, like gemstones glittering in the dark. They see nothing but hope. Indeed, that's why I made a promise to them. A promise that I would steal back the dawn. You truly are, Aver. Come again. Is that meant to be a compliment? But of course. Now then, shall we get to work, Aver? Hmm, there certainly is a lot to, of work to be done. More than I've ever done before. Darkness is terrifying. Damn it, I can't stop shaking. Cannot believe this sacred flame went out, if even if only for a moment. No matter what happens, the sacred guard will protect the people in the church. Let me save that. <laughs> 